Hot FM proudly supports the Benadorm enthusiasts and your favorite YouTube channel, Benadorm Stuff. Hi guys, the Benidorm enthusiast here with Benidorm Stuff YouTube channel. For today's video, we're going to be showing you some new bars which have opened around town. Some of these bars have been open a few months, some are brand new, just opened in the last week or so. We're sure you'll want to give them a visit the next time you're in Benidorm. The first bar we're featuring today is Auntie Bell's. This is right in the heart of the new town, behind the Hotel Presidente and just a couple of doors up from Mateo's. It's part of the Uncle Ron's group. You may have seen Uncle Ron's bar and Twisted Cocktail in the Rincon de Loix area, featured on our recent videos. And there's also a new Twisted Cocktail up by the Mirador, which we'll be showing you a little bit later on. Top quality food at great value is the philosopher here. All your typical British pub grub and they also do daily special menus and there's a breakfast belly buster challenge for just 750. It is huge. How many of you will be attempting this? I think I could probably do it, but I'm not gonna have a go today. Auntie Bell's opened up in September last year, so some of you may have already tried this place, but it's the first chance we've had to feature it on our channel. They refurbished before opening, changed the colour scheme and brightened it up. And I also think it looks a lot bigger now. They're open from 9am to 9pm every day, the last orders in the kitchen being 8pm. The terrace out front gets the sun most of the day too, so you can enjoy your food and drinks while soaking up some sunshine. We're in the Rincon Deloitte area now at a brand new bar which has opened on the Caddy Laundries. It opened just last week. This is Louis Bar and Lounge. Louis Bar has been opened by Charlie and Amy. Charlie, happy to meet you. And you? Yeah, obviously yeah. it's early days, you've only been open about a week, but how's it going? Yeah, really well. We've had really good response, everybody likes the way the place has been done out. And uh, yeah, just really good feedback so far. It's looking really smart. I really like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Uh, what are your plans for it? Uh, well, we've only opened doing drinks and cocktails, that kind of thing to start with. Uh, we're looking to start doing our food menu probably from next week. Excited for everybody coming out, but Cheltenham's going to be on the big screen. So obviously, Paddy's day, so hopefully onwards and upwards from here for the rest of the summer. It's going to go a bit mental from uh, the next few days onwards, I think. Yeah. So, hopefully. And the feedback you've been getting so far, good? All good, all good, yeah, people like the way it's been death got done out. Um, just, yeah, little bits of feedback that we're, we're going to use and criticism, a few, but, but not use, much. Use them to work on things, exactly, of course. Exactly, exactly right, yeah. And so what is it called, Louis Bar? Um, so the story behind Louis is uh, Amy and I used to work in a bar in Greece with practice, and uh, the owner of that bar who became a really, really good friend of ours, called Louis, an American. Um, unfortunately, he died a few years ago, so we only wanted to name the bar up and kind of pay homage to it. What he taught us, and he obviously brought us together. We're now engaged, and so that's another story. That's it. And a nice tribute to him. Hopefully, so. he's always looking down on you and uh, respect. Giving us the time. best of luck, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, and best of luck from me as well. Thank you very much. Places on the Levante beachfront that we're going to mention today. The first is King Coco. This is directly underneath the Torrey Levante apartments. It's an Aztec theme, obviously, a great spot being right on the front, and I'm sure it's going to do really well this summer. They've gone all out with the decor here, some really interesting pieces. Tropical theme, definitely something different for the beachfront area. This is Bev and Stanley from Birmingham. First time at King Coco's? Yes. And what do you think? Beautiful. You don't know what you're missing at all. Right on the front, where you want to be. Beautiful view. Absolutely lovely. This is lovely, the way they've done it. Yeah, that's lovely. 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 Really cool, cool decor, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And obviously a great spot right on the beach. Yeah. Can't go wrong, can you? Can't go wrong. Yeah. They're open from 11 o'clock in the morning and close whenever the last person leaves at the moment. They do all sorts of different cocktails here 
and the menu has influences from all over the world. I'll definitely be coming back here to try some of their dishes. The next place along the beachfront is the Chocolate Cafe Velour. This is just a couple of doors down from King Coco. Now Velour is a chocolate company local to our region. It originates in the next town along Villa Hayosa where you can actually visit the chocolate factory but you can try and buy all the chocolate products here at the Chocolate Cafe. The chocolate with churros is to die for here and they also do all other kinds of sweet treats like pancakes, waffles, those types of things. It gets very busy in the morning as they also do a really good coffee. Our next bar is called Le Blanc. This is just off the Levante beachfront, just down from Winners as well. It's in a really international area with bars and restaurants from influences all over the world. Le Blanc is named after a beach in Brazil. This is Anderson, lovely to meet you. Pleasure to meet you guys. Beautiful bar. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your plans for the place. Our plans for the place is basically good basically give a great service, excellent food, and even better vibes. We're looking forward to, to have all people from all, all around the world to, to just come around, have some drinks, have some good food to eat, enjoy the, 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 the weather we have in Benidorm and the good vibes we have around. Basically, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> and uh, you're, you're from Brazil originally? I was born in Brazil actually, and uh, when I was a little, let's say around four years old, we moved to the US, and my great-grandparents were from Spain, so when we left the US, we decided to move to Spain, and been in Benidorm for almost two years now, and was a dream of mine opening the opening a place like this, and finally, thanks God, we're, we're working already. Uh -huh. It's been tough, obviously. You've not seen Benidorm in its... Um... I have not. When we moved, actually, we got here right before COVID. It was January uh, in the, the year of the COVID. And I didn't see Benidorm how it actually is. I've only seen a couple of months that were pretty good last year, but not without COVID, I, I can't exactly. say I have. So, um, good times ahead, definitely. We hope so. That's what we're expecting for everybody, for the, for the tourists, for the businesses, for the city, for all of us that live here. So that's what we're looking for. And I wish you the best of luck with Le Blanc. The I food looks great. I'm going to try awesome. some in a minute. So, um, good luck with everything. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks Thank a you. lot. The menu at Le Blanc is a fusion of dishes from all different parts of the world. I've just tried a few plates and they were delicious. No matter where you're from, I'm sure you'll find something on this menu to enjoy. And if you think you can really eat, you can have a go at the Burger Challenge. King Kong, three and a half kilos of burger, plus chips, one person, half an hour. Eat it all and you get it for free. The next place we're going to mention today is Sue's Darts Bar. This place used to be on the Yellow Brick Road in the centre of the new town and they've recently relocated to this new venue which is on the Calle Girona towards the old town just opposite Uncle Ped's town. So this is Evelyn, Nikki and Dean. Lovely to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. you. How's it been going since you uh, relocated? Uh, actually quite well. We've expanded. Uh, well, we've, we've tried everything. Uh, we're getting bigger and bigger now, so... You've now got seven seven lanes for the darts. Yes, we specialise in darts. We've got a dart shop. Uh, we focus on the darts. We've also got bingo in. And, well, everything. We could be... This used to be a Belgian bar. So mm -hmm. when we converted it, it became an international bar. So we focus on everyone. English, Spanish, Dutch, Belgian. We've got all the Belgian beers in. Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, are you glad that you made the move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was scared because we moved right after Corona, so seven months ago. Difficult and time. Then in December, when all the, the things came back into place, we went like this. Is, this is gonna kill us. But no, since January, everything is booming up again, and now with with all those things going, mm -hmm. we're, we're quite happy. And you've got some um, some events planned as well. Some darts championships are coming to this bar. Yes, we do. We do a lot of championships. We have uh, rankings on a Monday. We have uh, tournaments on Sundays. Um, we do the the, the prelim for the, for the Spanish championships. Seven. Uh, yeah, well, 
a lot of things. Impressive stuff. Yeah. I'm sure I don't know much about dance myself, but I'm sure some of our viewers will. And you show all the dance on TV as well? Yeah. Everything. Okay. Brilliant. Everything. Thank you very much for today. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. As promised, we're finishing today at another bar which is part of the Uncle Ron's group. This is the second Twisted Cocktail. This Twisted Cocktail is up by the Mirador, right next door to the San Jaime Church. They open at 11am, right the way through to 11pm, though they will more than likely extend their opening hours in the summer to stay open later into the night. As the name suggests, this is a cocktail bar. They have 128 cocktails on the menu. Unbelievable. From your typical favourites like your porn star or espresso martini to some more extravagant options like the unicorn, described as an indulgent surprise. They do, of course, serve other drinks as well as cocktails, beers and mixed drinks on offer and they'll be adding tapas to the menu very soon. You could also book this place out for a private party. I could see some hen parties getting pretty crazy in here over the summer months. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video having a little look around some of the new bars in town. Make sure you get them on your list of places to visit the next time you're in Benidorm. And leave us a comment, which one did you like the look of most? Let us know. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at the Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive! Stay safe.